Welcome everyone, this is Inside Jaros and this is a series of videos of how we redefine the javelin. In late 2015, uh, I was already flying, I was already pilot, um, I was teaching classes and I was also working for the army uh, in intelligence uh, inside civil aviation in Colombia. Uh, it was a coincidence, uh, a company with a great vision and, and there is a this is great uh, people in Colombia in that company, they have this vision to use gyroplanes for uh, military and uh, professional applications. Um, Colombia, um, we, 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 we have a lack of resources, let's put it this way, economical and then tool. Uh, so, so gyroplanes for, for countries like Colombia and South America, they open a massive, massive opportunities for small companies or, or medium companies and for the for, for the governments to maximize their resources using uh, aerial platforms for many many when uh, when I finished my training that it was uh, <laughs> pretty long. I was really bad in gyroplanes. I was all over the place. I barely controlled the nose at the beginning. Um, it was very scary. The, the first autorotation is, is really, really, really scary. And flying and, and slowing, slowing, slowing and, you know, with the cassette of the stall in, in, in your head is immediately going down. Uh, it was it was difficult, but it took me a little bit more than thirty hours. It took me a lot. <laughs> it was not it was not easy. And as soon as we finish, we start preparing the first test. We we, we I volunteer and I because I was in the army. We we start kind of getting together to to develop a mission. And and we found a, we found a, a, a mission that may require a gyroplane and that was that was my first mission with the with my first real combat mission with, with, with the with the gyroplanes it was in the in the tandem and it was it was very interesting it was very very interesting we flew north of Colombia of course there's many things that I cannot open uh, I, I cannot openly say uh, there is still a classified but we flew the north of Colombia close to the border of with Venezuela uh, since that time, uh, the, the, the government kind of given, the, the Venezuelan government, it was given safe heaven for, for terrorists. So, so we, we, we kind of operate in that area. That was what we were doing. Um, and the preparation was, uh, was pretty gypsy, let's put it this way. It was, it, it was, uh, it was interesting. There was a lot of duct tape. Zip tides and, and, and uh, ingenuity. Uh, we were trying to, to add things that they, 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 the machine was not designed for. But we actually did it. We, we actually did it. Well, the mission details, I cannot give too much details, but when we arrive, we operate from an oil rig uh, close to the border. Uh, it's a perfect location for an undercover mission with this kind of machine. Uh, there was a target, it was a terrorist guy, a leader of a group with, um, uh, I don't remember how many guys he have, but there was a, a big group of guys. Uh, they have good firepower, so we need to be very careful. The, the gyroplanes are not attack machines, they are pretty fragile in the air and if they cannot support punishment, definitely. So the first thing we, know, we knew is uh, we have to fly high. And that was my cover. Uh, initially, the first uh, rec reconnaissance missions that we did, there was three sectors, and we compiled information with the um, with, in with the local intelligence. Um, uh, we we were listening the guy by cell phone. Um, we using the antennas of cell phone. 
we intercept those those communications so we know which antennas he's using we we create a pattern the guy was uh, was really clever because he he don't he don't move with patterns but we only have he only have a couple patterns the times he called the girlfriends because he got some girlfriends and the time uh, and the time he turned off uh, on and off the cell phone so we knew where he was uh, where, where more or less when the, the cell phone will be on and knowing these antennas and these areas we start flying it took us almost a month is 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 frustrating sometimes <laughs> because you go to the area and the guy is not there so that's the first thing we we didn't have enough uh, endurance with the gyro if i were able to to fly more time it will be it will make it more easier so this is one of the things that we are we are changing with the javelin um so we we start flying around the area we we kind of locate we knew that there were some roads we knew that he was moving in in motorbikes uh, we knew that he was close to a river kind of a creek area uh, because he was always asking the 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 the, the brides and distortion money on these sectors uh, but it was very difficult to, to get the guy even with the with the inside troops it was very very difficult but the, the, the fact that we were flying around uh, it make it easy although we in the three sectors we start flying and we the first day we didn't found anything we fly for for one hour it was one it was 45 minutes from the base to the to the target area so we lose two hours of endurance so we only have like one hour roughly to to operate that that, that was that, that was the main the, the, the main issue so the first day we went nothing the second day we, we nothing happened the third day uh we thought what we have it but then we start having issues with the system um, if you understand how we put the system, the, the, the antennas that we are that we, we locate, that's because space is the second thing that, that, that we need to understand here. We, we use a lot of duct tape and zip ties. So we put the antenna in the um, in, in, in close to the to the landing gear in the bottom is a, is a round antenna. It's a disc actually to locate the cell phone signal and start giving us some uh, uh, some direction. It's like an ADF. It looks like an ADF. If you're a pilot, you understand it's an ADF and it's telling you more or less until you are on top of it. So you fly in circles until you pinpoint the location and you you get the area. In a city, it's more difficult. In a city, they do it in cars. They use they, they use vans to go around until they get the, the location. In the air, is 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 easier. And because it's jungle area, is not really popular. So as soon as we see some houses, we kind of know where, where, where the target can be. So we, we, we start going, we, we put that, the, the system, to, to operate the system, we cannot hook it to the, to the engine for, for, for the electrical power. So we got this gigantic battery from like a lorry, like a truck, huge one, and we put it in the back seat. So the operator, the sergeant who was with me in the back, he had to fly with the legs to one side and a massive laptop of that time, you know, with the, with the cables and everything around. It looks like the car from the Beverly Hillbillies with everything attached around. To be able for me to communicate with the ground troops and to the and, and to the support area with the with the Hueys and the 60s with the, with the Blackhawks, I have to use the the, the, the the military radio. We don't use the the, the standard uh, VHF uh, um, radio. So it was this like a backpack that we tried to put in the back. It didn't work. Oh, at the beginning we were we, we, we flew with the with the armor, but it was ridiculous. It was too heavy, so we remove it and we use a light bulletproof, and I will sit down on top of it. I remember that was the first thing, remember the movies, and uh, <laughs> you see sit down in the helmet, so yeah, I did the same. I just put it because the bullets would come from the bottom, not from, from the side. So. And it was pretty funny to look this super advanced technology on intelligence, <laughs> Colombian style. Uh, so we went again to the area, we, we, we thought we found it, and we found it. We, we found it, and the idea was to fly 5,000 feet. It was my, 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 my flight deck. I was not flying below because they can hit me. They have good shooters and they have Barrett's uh, 50 caliber rifles. So I need to be very careful. Although it's very difficult to hit it, but a good shooter can hit it. 
but above 5,000 feet, my, it looked very small and the idea was to arrive to the target when we locate the, 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 the guy, if I arrive to the target at 10,000, cut the engine and use the gyroplane performance because at that, at that altitude they give me time to, 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 to go down. There is really, really low noise. So I can be on top of the target to start doing the, the, um, the, 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 the circuits, the, the, uh, the, the, all the maneuvers to get and we found it. So the, the, the phase two was to launch the, the, the attack to, 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 to get the, the guy. In, in our way back, we said, okay, let's go to the target and, and see if we get the cell phone. We, when we found the cell phone, the operator in the back, that's something that, that gyroplanes have a great um, advantage because you are already there. If you have a camera and, and, and you kind of locate, you're missing the rest of the picture. But the sergeant in the back is they say, hey, wait, 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 Cappy, there, there is a, there is a, there, there is, there, there is a three motorbikes over there. So we found it. Uh, so we planify the, 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 the assault. The, the assault include three Blackhawks and two Huey helicopters. And what we do with the, with the Huey helicopter was the air support. So we just put two GAO machine guns, the, 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 the ones from the, from the Terminator movie, the mini guns. We put two and they, they fly in orbits just to give all the support in, in, in certain areas. What they do, the, 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 the communist guerrilla, what they do when they see the helicopter, they maintain a tree between them and the helicopter so they cannot get hit. But if, if, the helicopter, if there's two helicopters going around, that, that gives us a small advantage. So we launched the, 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 the assault. We found the guy. The guy escaped at that time, but I found it later. That's it. That's uh, I cannot tell more about that. But um, but yeah, that was the first real combat mission that we did with a gyroplane, and we performed it, and and actually was good. This gives us a lot of a lot of information for what we have to do. What we learn, uh, we learn a lot. First of all, the machine. That's the first thing. The first thing to, to perform a real job is the, 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 the machine. You cannot go with a machine that is not designed for that purpose. Uh, it was really uncomfortable. We got some rain, we got wet, the equipment, they, we have to cover it with, paper, with, with plastic, but in the air, they, the air start making the plastic. So my biggest fear was the, the plastic goes to the propeller. It was very interesting. <laughs> that operation was very interesting, and this is how we came to these to these platforms. So when we upgraded, we we we, we did the research and we found in Poland these platforms. So um, we managed to to replace the um, the the model we got at that time was the Xenon, produced here in Poland, uh, and it was day and night. Uh, we were managed to look to, to put the systems inside of the cabin, although the, the comfort of the operator and sometimes me with things on my neck, <laughs> we, we attach a big box in the bottom. So we, we have the cameras and the sensors in a, in a big like cargo pack in the bottom. These machines are taller and they're wider than the other models. And we have some space in the back still was not enough. So we put batteries and the antennas and everything around. So it looks like a time machine, like an attempt of a time machine. Um, and, but then we removed one problem was the comfort and the protection of the, uh, of the crew. It was, it was very, very important. Still the endurance was not the best, but we, we flew more than, than 30 hours a week with those machines and it was it was a lot of flying around with the, with the